five sneakers that will never lose their value. Starting off hot, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG Chicago. This shoe in particular was one of the OGs to the game coming out in 1985. And as we have all seen, the Air movie just recently came out. And because of that, that's just another reason why this shoe will never lose its value. But with or without the movie, this sneaker in particular has always been a grail on a lot of people's list. And there have been multiple styles, cuts, and iterations over the years. And every single time, the shoe ends up selling out. And it's always worth more than the retail price. Now, back in 1985, that may not have been a thing. And resale culture wasn't even around like that. But one thing that I can say is, if you look at a pair of 1985 Air Jordan 1s in current market, those things are going for twenty dollars to $50,000, depending on the condition. Now, that doesn't mean this 2015 retro is worth that much as well. But who knows? Maybe one day, these could hit for the same price. So just to mention a few different versions of the Chicago Chicago ones that are still gonna hold their value or go up in value. Here's a list of a few. The 1994 retro, which was the first retro, super dope box, love the packaging. Everybody loves that shoe. They're gonna still always be worth good money. Definitely a good investment. Oh yeah, and for all the new people out there, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! The patent leather Chicago ones from 2003. Now this is another great sneaker, but this shoe is definitely something that's really hard to find in a good condition. So if you do, beware. And then obviously you gotta understand there's yellowing with the white patent leather and different issues that you may run into when it comes to the materials on this shoe. But at the end of the day, when it comes to a Chicago one, a lot of people still love these. And then 10 years later, we saw the 2013 retro. Again, not everybody's favorite, but one thing that I can say is they're definitely going for well over retail. And I don't see the price dropping on those anytime time soon unfortunately those did have the jump man on the tongue but either way at the end of the day people still rocking with them now shortly after that we had the new tone set with the 2015 retro and these in particular are going for a couple thousand dollars dead stock and i don't see these dropping anytime soon even though we had the lost and found jordan ones recently come out as well another funny one to throw on this list the air jordan 1.5 Yes, they're not going for crazy bread, but at the end of the day, they're hitting for more than retail. Now in 2016, we saw a low top OG of the Chicago Jordan 1, and these things sat on shelves when they first came out. Then the hype grew, and next thing you know, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars for the shoe. So to find a dead stock pair or even a clean pair of this shoe, I think if you purchase them, you're definitely gonna get your money's worth, and they're gonna hold their value or increase in value. Another one that everybody loves, the Off-White Air Jordan 1, clearly worth thousands of dollars over the retail value, and I don't see these going down down anytime soon considered to be one of the greatest collaborations of all time and when it comes to chicago colorways this is probably one of the best chicago colorway releases out of the whole bunch that a lot of people love you know as a whole a few years after that we saw the 2021 trophy room air jordan ones again another hot release controversial release but at the end of the day going for a thousand or two thousand dollars over the retail value and i don't see these dropping anytime soon either and then like i said earlier you got the lost and found air jordan ones that recently came out these things are going to be sitting and hovering around the price that they are right now i don't think the price is going to go down and over time these are probably could potentially be that 800 to 1500 shoe give it some years down the line oh and another low-key one the golf air jordan one low chicago colorway sleeper shoe but i think these are definitely going to be worth something down the line as well now taking it to the next model we have the air jordan 11 concord you can always win when it comes to this shoe right here these originally released in 1995 and became one of the most iconic sneakers and colorways of all time just like we talked about the ones the 11s in particular that model and this colorway in particular changed the game so when it comes to this shoe in particular there's other models as well just like i showed you with the ones that you can also add to your collection that are going to hit and be just like like the concords and that's the 2000 retro as well again a lot of people like them one thing you have to worry about is the carbon fiber the soles separating from the shoes or the yellowing on the outsoles as well that comes with age we understand that on the ogs or the first set of retros when it comes to the og retro face box era different things like that but either way if you get a clean pair they're always going to typically hold their value and if you do a restoration people are going to really love that and the next thing you know they're going to be worth more money and then another one that's not technically the concord but i consider it in the same category the 2006 DMP Air Jordan 11s. We saw this come out in a package and then we know that the DMP is actually coming out this year. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up because just like the Concords, I know a lot of people are gonna be going after those. Yeah, you're gonna have this people saying, oh, they already came out with the Concords. I don't need those anymore. But either way, they're still gonna be going after the shoe. I can guarantee it because these came out a while ago and I know for a fact people have already beat these up and are looking for another fresh pair. So after the OG drop of the DMP in 2006, we also saw the 2011 
7 Concord, and that one in particular is another great shoe. Those are still going to be hitting for a couple hundred bucks over retail. Another sleeper that a lot of people forgot about, the 2014 Air Jordan 11 Low Concord. Great shoe right there. I know a lot of people like those, and if you find a clean pair, no matter what store you go to, the prices are going to be pretty high on that shoe, but I don't see the value going down anytime soon, unless they do another retro, but even if they do that, they're still going to hold a good value on that shoe. And then like I said earlier, you got the 2018 Concord Air Jordan 11s right here with the 45 on the back. 2018, 2023. It's been five years. I can guarantee you there's a lot of people out there that got one pair of this shoe and they're definitely looking to grab another pair because they didn't already put theirs through the ringer. They might've got the mesh dirty or something like that. There's a lot of different reasons as to why people will want to double up or grab another pair. And again, with this shoe being so iconic, it just makes sense why these will never lose value. And another one that I think a lot of people forgot about and I kept telling them they're gonna go up, the Concord 11 cleats. They made football versions, low tops and high tops, and everybody was sleeping on them. They didn't want to pay 120 bucks or whatever the retail was. Now you look at them, but again, when it comes to cleats and spikes and stuff like that, trust me, it's always a good investment. And if you want it for yourself, get it then when you can, because the price ends up always going up in value. And speaking of that, you got the golf spikes that came out in 2019, a few years ago. That's another sleeper. I think those are gonna to continue to rise as well over time. It's a shoe that needs to be played in grass and those different reasons, which means what? People are gonna want a fresh pair years down the line and you're not gonna be doing any crazy cutting or anything so the shoe's gonna last for a while but if you get them dirty next thing you know you're gonna want a fresh pair so that's always a good sleeper as well and before we take it to the next shoe we got to talk about the slightly hybrid sneaker the concord bread air jordan 11 low they put the bread bottoms on there with a red instead i put them in the same category because everybody still loves them and that's another shoe that i definitely think will continue to rise and hold its value now before we take it to the next shoe i just wanted to remind you guys i have a full community of like-minded sneakerheads that are interested in taking their shoe game to the next level, investing, growing their collection, flipping, hustling, and then potentially buying their own pieces of property, real estate, you name it. So if you're ever interested in anything like that and want to take your game to the next level, get into the free raffles. I give away shoes every single month. Make sure you guys hit the link down below in the description and I'll see you guys on the inside of my sneakerhead academy. I'm excited to see new people joining every single day and I'm looking forward to having you in there. Now let's take it to the next shoe so I can show you guys some more kicks. I know some people call them the black cements, other people call them the breads. Either way, whatever you like to call it, we got to talk about the black cement bread Air Jordan 4. This shoe in particular, we haven't seen as many iterations as we have of the 1s or the 11s, but every time that these come out, they always end up selling out. Everybody loves them. The price always shoots up. And these ones in particular, these are like $750 now. I know fours are popping, so they might drop a little bit over time when the new one retros. But either way, these things are always going to hold a good value. Back in 1989, we had the original Black Cement Air Jordan 4 come out. And everybody loved the shoe then. And they still love it now. And over the years, we've seen different iterations. So let's highlight a few that will always hold their value. You got the 1999 retro with the Nike Air. Everybody was happy about that. They were super ecstatic. And then they took it away and put the Jumpman on the back. But either way, they still held their value with all the Jumpman pairs as well. You had the 2008 CDP Retro. Those were a clean shoe. Those are always gonna be worth something solid. Again, with time and age and wearability and all those factors, there are different elements to it. But when it comes to bread Jordan 4s or black cement Jordan 4s, no matter what the iteration is, if you can get it in that current time when it comes out, it's always gonna hold a good value but you gotta know that it does have a lifespan on it because of the midsoles. Another one that got slightly upgraded, but still not all the way to what everybody wanted. And we saw actually a lot of B grades during this time. The 2012 Retro with the Jumpman on the back. A lot of people loved them. I got them in my collection still. I think it's a great shoe and they're gonna always hold a good value. Definitely worth well over that retail value. And then like I mentioned here, the 2019 Retro with the Nike Air on the back, they brought it back and everybody was super ecstatic about this, bringing those anniversary vibes back around. And it was super clean to see that this shoe came out. I ended up grabbing a few pairs of these. I love these a lot and I wear these really, really often. And then another shoe that honestly, is I think a really, really good price right now, actually going for around the retail value. You got the bread Air Jordan 4 and the golf spikes. Those have the Jumpmans on the back, so maybe that's the reason why. But either way, I think that's gonna be a really big sleeper. Give it a few years from now. A lot of people are gonna be mad they didn't grab those for retail. Now, next up on the list, I know everybody has been talking about over the past three to six months right now, and I understand why, because they just came out. The white cement Air Jordan 3. You got the Nike Air on the back, and trust me, this is an amazing shoe shoe and I think truly I know it's going for about a hundred dollars over retail right now but I think 
these still got room to grow when it comes to the value of the sneaker so you can still get in on this shoe right now and still be a happy camper if you want to grab them for your collection and not have to pay more money down the line back in 1988 we saw the original white cement air jordan 3s come out again classic iconic you saw all the different moments with him playing on the court jumping from the free throw line in the dunk contest you name it there's so many different memories for people with the different commercials you name it there was just a lot of good times when it comes to the jordan 3 in particular so 2003 came around and they dropped the jordan 3 with the jump man on the back nice quality nice materials amazing shoe problem is now in current time the shoes just not really wearable so I can understand why the value may go down but for a long period of time that shoe was worth a lot of money it was hard to get if you had that shoe back in 2005 2006 2008 something like that if you had some O3 white cement threes I'm telling you right now, you was the man, especially if you had a clean pair. Now this one in particular, <laughs> I just had to throw this on the list because I thought it was funny. I don't think these gonna hold no value, but again, I don't know, maybe two each is old. The Fusion White Cement 3s. Here's the photo, here it is. I don't got much to say. Let's just take it to the next shoe. So we had the 2011 White Cement 3 come out in retro. I remember that time, I remember that era. Those held value for a really long time. But again, they have a lifespan on them. So you always have to be aware of that when it comes to different sneakers. But like I'm showing you, the white cement threes in particular, those held a really good value over that retail price. And then we saw the 88 pair come out a couple years after with the Nike Air on the back. Changed the game, didn't have the same cut. But I can tell you right now, a lot of sneakerheads still hold that as one of their grails on their list. And then obviously we saw this one with the Nike Air. So that might have passed it up. But some people still like the 88 pair depending on the cuts and materials. For me, I prefer the OG style. Some people don't like the whole yellowing on the midsole thing. I get that to each his own yet again. But either way, at the end of the day, two great shoes, two well over the retail value. Another sleeper, the golf spikes. Also, I think there was a football cleat. Those came out in like 2000 eight or nine or something like that i had a couple pairs of the black cement ones that i played in back in the day but i wish i would have grabbed the white ones those were actually sitting on east bay for like on sale like you could have bought them for like 45 dollars back in the day now they're probably worth like a few hundred bucks also in 2018 we saw the jth jordan 3's war at the super bowl then released to the public came out was worth some good money still worth some good money and then you had the free throw lines as well that came out representing the 1988 dunk from the free throw line also a great shoe still worth some good money so these are all a bunch of good examples to show you not only do these shoes hold their value over a long period of time but you can still get these and they hold their value in the current time as well when it comes to the white cement air jordan 3 so if you see anything that's related to this and it's not like some random you know fusion off of it or anything like that but if it's a white cement jordan 3 with some type of collaboration or whatever it is that's going to be a really good shoe for your collection and good investment whatever it's going to hold its value and like i said earlier if you're looking to buy sneakers and make wiser decisions and be able to make those plays to purchase properties and sell your sneakers and do those different things you want to be strategic about it as well at the end of the day yes buy what you like but at the same time be a little bit more strategic and get different models like this even if you still like them you know that hey got it for a good price is worth more later now i could sell it and i could use that and actually take my life to another level as well not just purchasing sneakers sneakers okay last but not least on this list and trust me there are a ton of more sneakers if you guys want to see more drop comments down below i can make more videos of a list like this or other top five or top ten lists i would love to hear your ideas but either way we got the black metallic air jordan fives nike air on the back you can never go wrong with this again there's Jumpman versions which we will go over in a second but these ones in particular yeah these goes crazy so back in 1990 we originally saw the air jordan 5 come out in the black metallic colorway again another og classic iconic you can never go wrong you're starting to see the trend here that shoe came out and it's honestly not really wearable anymore if you can find a really pristine pair that's great for display then you know that's a whole different ball game and a different type of market of sneakers and collecting and those different things but i think when it comes to this the midsoles the threes the fours the fives the sixes the sevens the eights the nines all those different shoes they start to deteriorate they start to fall apart over time give it 20 30 years you're going to see that issue so you have to understand again when it comes to this model there's runs with this there's different years and eras depending on the materials how you store it again we'll teach you more about that if you want to join the community but at the end of the day this is another shoe that will always hold its value and be a great addition to your collection and your rotation so to go through a list of some of the sneakers in 2000 we saw the metallic fives released with the nike air we had the fire red as well two great shoes you can never go wrong with either but father time plays his course next thing you know 20 years later the shoes aren't really wearable anymore what i can say is for a solid you know 12 to 15 year window 
Those shoes were hot. They were some of the most expensive shoes in the game. If you had both shoes in that set with the black metallic and the white fire reds, you was the man back in the day. Also in 2007, we saw the release with the Jumpman on the back. Again, right now, current market, yes, it's not gonna be the most expensive, but what I can say is they're definitely going for over that retail value if you have a dead stock pair. And you can actually find a really clean used pair for a solid price. But one thing I love about this is you can buy sneakers like this that are used and say, hey, if I spent 200 bucks on this shoe and I still wear it and it's already used, you can still get that $200 back or potentially even clean it up and sell it for 220, 240 and make money years down the line. So that's one thing I love about buying strategically on certain sneakers as well. Yes, obviously, like I said, buy what you like, but play smart as well. So another release that we saw in 2011, again, Jumpman on the back, different materials than the 2007, whole different switch up when it comes to the upper and the cut and everything. I think I've done reviews from the past explaining all the differences. But either way, again, another great shoe, same scenario as the 2007 Retro. You can't go wrong with them. I know a lot of people prefer that Nike Air and that's gonna hold a stronger name and value on the shoe, but you can't lose on the 2011 pair either. Also in 2011, one of the most expensive black metallic fives out there, the Ben 23 Air Jordan 5 in the black metallic colorway. Premium cuts, premium materials, everything nice. That shoe's like over $1,000 or somewhere around $1,000 right now. So one thing I can say is, you know, maybe if the shoe's not worn, it might start to fall apart maybe seven to eight, maybe 10 years from now, but there's still a long window of that shoe holding a really good value. And if you decide to purchase a used pair, you're gonna be a happy camper because now you can rock those and still sell them for a good dollar. And then most recently right here, we have the 2016 Retro. 2016, it's been a while. People have been just getting into the shoe game over the past few years from 2020, 2021, two to three years. So this, so some people, they're like, oh, that's an OG, it's been out for a long time. I get it, it might be a little bit harder to find, but you know, when it comes to pricing and everything like that, I think these are like four or 500 bucks. The ceiling isn't like super high when it comes to these in particular, they might go up a little bit more in value, but again, another great shoe, another great addition. And I'm sure if you guys are watching this video and you're seeing any of these different retros that I've spoke about, you can attest to what I'm saying. All these shoes have held a great value. They're always easy to flip and trade and do those different things because a lot of people like them. And again, it's not like, oh, I'm buying what everybody else likes and I'm not buying what I like. It's just a simple fact. Like these are great iconic shoes. They're great additions to the collection. They go with great outfits, all the different names. You have your own stories behind it. It just makes sense. So I just wanted to present these five sneakers to you guys to help you out. If you have any other questions, drop them down below in the comment section. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video, like I said earlier, hit that link down below in the description, sign up, join the community. I'm gonna see you guys in the inside. I also have an eight week program that'll teach you everything that you need to know, all the ins and outs of the shoe game for the people that are less experienced. And if you have more experience in the game, you're still welcome as well. We have free monthly giveaways with a bunch of challenges and I'll let you guys tap into all my different resources when it comes to finance, real estate, taxes, sneakers, you name it. I wanna make sure that you guys grow just like I'm growing. I'll see you guys in the inside. All right, y'all. I'm out. Plus in my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. Today. I would never let you down. That's in my DNA, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA.